record. But one of the first psychedelic album covers was The Eggplant Plant in Chicago. Norman Greenbaum, who I'm proud to say is a good friend of mine. I didn't know this gentleman, but I knew that Carlos's music and artwork were very intertwined. And I knew that whoever did these, the, the album for Supernatural, would be a very spiritual, soulful, incredible individual. And that was certainly the case. I love to go to his studio out near the shipyards and hang out. I can now call him a friend, and he's one of the sweetest, humblest guys you could ever meet, Michael Rios. Um, it's not insignificant. I don't know of too many artists who can claim that 40 million people own their artwork. And the real lamentable thing is I'm lucky enough to have one of the albums, 12 inch. It's gorgeous. The CD's gorgeous, but it's not the same. Unfortunately, his artwork came in the CD era, so most people own the CD, but Michael, uh, I'm glad you're here. Jerry Harrison. <laughs> Jerry was a local treasurer when he recorded with Jonathan Richmond for the Modern Lovers in Berkeley. Went to a little school back east called Harvard, uh, and then formed a group with uh, David Byrne. I've always been